Good morning, everybody. I'm Sean McDonald. This is News 9 Plus on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Hi there. Here are the stories that we have been following throughout the day. Now, the U.S. Secret Service is investigating after cyber criminals stole more than $2 million from the town of Peterborough. Back in July, town officials learned that the Conval School District had not received its $1.2 million monthly transfer. Town Administrator Nicole Max Day says the transfer changed from Conval's bank to one that is under the control of the criminals. Uh, Peterborough contacted its insurance carrier, who eventually contacted the Secret Service. Investigators later discovered additional funds that were supposed to go to contractors working on the Main Street Bridge project were also stolen. Officials believe the thieves targeted the town's finance department through fraudulent emails disguised to look like they were coming from the school district and the contractors. We discovered though pretty quickly that that, that transfer had already gone into um, cryptocurrency, making it very difficult to recover. Right now, there is no evidence of an inside job. The finance department staff members who were targeted are on leave until the Secret Service closes its investigation. Meantime, Senator Maggie Hassan held a meeting yesterday with local organizations that have been targeted by cyber attacks. She discussed elements in the infrastructure bill that she says would provide important tools to ward off threats. The Stratford County Sheriff says his department's experience of, be of being hacked has been eye-opening. The first of its kind that hit the state, so they were scrambling to figure out what it was um, targeting. Um, took out our payroll system, it had access to a bunch of our employees' um, uh, sense of information like social security numbers or whatnot. That bill right now includes $1 billion for state and local cyber security. A Manchester family is home safe this morning after they were stuck in Afghanistan following the Taliban takeover. They arrived in Manchester Friday night around 11. The family tells News 9 they got through a Taliban checkpoint and were able to get on a flight out of Kabul. The mother, who is still keeping her identity secret to protect other family members, told us, I was going to send you more pictures and video, but unfortunately my bag got stuck behind with my uncle when we crossed the checkpoint. We just made it through with passports and nothing else. She went on to say her family in Afghanistan is still in danger. The number of COVID-19 cases here in the Granite State continues to rise, and we're now seeing the most hospitalizations since April. 791 new cases were reported over the weekend, along with five new deaths, pushing the statewide death toll to 1,402 lives lost. 107 people are battling the virus in hospitals, marking the first time we've seen over 100 hospitalizations since April 23rd. As far as vaccinations go right now, 54% of eligible Granite Staters are fully vaccinated. A new commission at the state house is trying to figure out how to create an independent police oversight body at the state level. The commission chaired by Attorney General John Formella will come up with recommendations. Reformers want oversight that can build community trust while police worry about due process for officers. The balance between transparency uh, for the public and information for the public and uh, the privacy interests and the due process interests of law enforcement officers has been the balance that everyone has tried to figure out for the last uh, several years. The commission must complete its work by November 1st. Even though Henri has moved out, boaters and swimmers need to watch out for rip currents today. A rip current is a channel of water that forms between two sandbars and can pull swimmers out to sea. State uh, Beach Patrol says they can sometimes look like a lull and a safe space to swim, which makes them dangerous. Surf does push you to shore, so when you go in the water, you want to stay, especially right now, waist step. You can play in the surf, stay waist step, let the surf push you to shore. Officials say if you are not an experienced swimmer, it's best to stay on shore, especially for the next couple of days. Uh, we did have the remnants of Henri dumping rain overnight and into the early morning hours. But as you can see here at Hampton Beach, Kevin, the clouds are starting to clear. It's going to be hot out there, right? Still a decrease in clouds in some areas early this morning, but in other spots, it is going to be sunshine from start to finish. A mixture of sunshine and clouds with the humidity still lingering in place. So we've gotten rid of the fog in most locations. 
clouds in most locations and rain everywhere. We still have that humidity in place and will likely be here all the way through Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. 70s for most early, 80s for most later on this afternoon with a light breeze, sea breeze at the coastline and a very small chance that we'll have a thunder shower moving across the north country later on this afternoon. 60s with patchy fog tonight and then tomorrow and Thursday. Similar highs anywhere from the mid and upper 80s to some lower 90s. This will be with that higher humidity in place. So you're talking the heat of disease for a few hours tomorrow and Thursday afternoon between 93 and 97 degrees. Beyond that, small chance of a passing shower or storm Thursday. That will be the leading edge of a northerly breeze that will knock down the humidity for a few days and it is timed out for the weekend with our next system trying to arrive as a couple of showers early next week, but a much quieter weather pattern going forward with the temperatures making all the headlines hotter than normal going through Thursday and then cooler than the average with lower humidity for the weekend. You know, I found the secret of how you stay cool in this hot weather, Kevin. Really? And how is that? You have so many fans. <laughs> I walked sadly right into that. And that is why we have the name plus ahead of this. Ah, uh, yeah. I've added in some humor. That for was you folks. the plus. The joke. <laughs> Made that up on the spot, by the way. All right. Thanks for Good joining show. us here on News 9 Plus. Have a great day, everybody.